pretty good gig. Yeah, good for us. Uh, good for him. He gets to please his people, but wish he played a little more. Oh, there's a shit ton of reds here, Gumble. Faction e completed today. If I die, that's your fault, okay? I literally am unloading the speed as slow as possible because there's nothing to do today. Not really looking forward to tomorrow, though. <laughs> Tomorrow sounds like it's gonna be a freaking nightmare. So that sucks having your power go, Corvus. When did you come back? Well, it came back on at 1 a.m. And I have on excitedly oh, to play some. And everyone's off? Well, now there are people on and we're ready to do stuff. And then it went back off at 1.30 and I was like, oh, I'm done. That sucks. I'm just going to bed. Yo. Why don't you just... Why didn't you just play on your phone? <laughs> I don't have it set up yeah, that way. Sure, that's a good idea. I mean, if I played on my phone, I'd probably stick to yellow zones and click yep. around or something. But I've never played on my phone. I'm a little worried about it. You get lag. Lots and lots groups. of lag. Well, it depends on how powerful your phone is. Not powerful. Just yeah, like, but I mean, I like, I, I tested with just faction warfare. Like, I have a pretty quick around new phone. My phone? It doesn't. Like, I'm running a Note 20 Plus. Or, sorry, Note 20 Ultra. Classic. And Faction warfare sucks, huh? I've noticed that because it only renders like what twenty to thirty characters at a time, everything else is just a yellow body. Body, yeah. It doesn't lag like it does on my PC. Yeah. Uh, I will say though, when I was doing when I was doing when I was doing faction stuff, my phone did not like it, but it continued to run. I only had my game crash once, and that was because. That was because I had my phone plugged in, and then there was a bunch of people on, so it was demanding a lot from my phone, and my phone kind of somewhat overheated to the point where it just crashed it. But yeah, once I restarted it, it does run hot. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that I won't I say no about. That if I if I uh, sat in the back with a with just a bow and stayed somewhat out of the combat, then it helped out. And then I was fine. Yeah, like it, Welcome, that, and I turned the dismount? that, and I turned the settings down to like nothing. But as far as ZBZs go, I probably won't be able to participate. <laughs> At least not on a not on my phone. Hopefully, I can save up enough money to get my computer fixed or buy a laptop. Then you can be Ooh. like darkness. I'm bringing it on the road. Yeah, except for I don't do the same kind of trucking that Darkness does, though. All you gotta do is plug your phone in and uh, tether your internet to your phone. Or tether your internet from your phone to your laptop. Albion doesn't burn too much or data, which is nice. No, no, no but, but like I said, I, I don't do the same kind of driving as uh, yeah. Darkness does. Ooh. Darkness yeah, is actually an over-the-road driver. Right? Uh, you have to get off often uh, from the truck and do stuff. Yeah, I... yeah. Aw, oh, that's cute. This bow guy thinks he's gonna steal my mobs from me because he's... He said you are old friends! <laughs> the fuck does it mean? Okay, I'm using the slow wing queue. Hmm. Holy crap. Corvus, I'm gonna start specking up uh, energy shaper. He just wants to be special. I mean... <laughs> We get some big clump fights. Like, what we need is someone to deal massive damage so that Zuri and Malachondrius can get those execute ability or hits down. Energy Shaper is the way to do it. Yeah. Just stand in the back line and beam through everything. Yep, yep. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try C12 here soon. I'm gonna stack it up, so. Let me join the different type of gameplay. Go, Gumball, go. Fuck him up. I'm just gonna stick to my worthless, uh, great axe, you know. The brain dead build. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that pole arm can be pretty fun too. Is it still here? Is it still here? The what? The halberd. Corvus. I heard two questions. Sorry, what? Um. Well, I just said I was gonna stick to my worthless great axe build, and said something. I think there's a pole arm that's actually pretty good for like large groups, right? Doesn't it have a wider hit. Uh, the. You're talking about the halberd. Or, yeah, that too. It's really good for spreading bleeds, and that's it. Gotcha. For real, these these two is broke as fuck. <laughs> what you what you do is you get three bleeds on one person, and then when that person runs into the group of people, you go in and press E, and it spreads his three bleeds to every single person in the area. Does that do a lot of damage? Uh, yeah. it it inhibits their. Uh, healers, because it reduces Ooh. healing by 40%. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh. The only totally problem is it's the damage isn't great. Like, a 8.3 halberd is like 700 damage. Yeah, it's... it's when you could run a 8.3 great axe and deal 3,000 damage, like... The other, the other thing, too, is... is so... In... Is the Realm Breaker just good for ZVZs? No. Or is it good for group content too? With Everything. Really it's good for 1 vs 1, 5 vs 5, 500 vs 500. It is the most versatile axe in the game and it is amazing. Yeah, when I hear... it's really stupid expensive. Oh yeah, it's, a, it's an Avalonian relic item. Yeah. And it's super powerful. I hear a lot of people say, oh, I want to learn to use a Kingmaker. It's like, nah, use a Realm Breaker. It's better. Yeah, I just, I mean, definitely don't have like, that kind of money floating around. But eventually, yeah. it would be nice to get everything specced up enough that I can start putting points into there. Or get my Great Axe maxed out so I can start putting points into that. And then, uh... Um... Uh, Use that on our group stuff. Get a big clump and frickin' slam the ground into an ass load of damage. Yeah, it not only does an ass load of damage, but it reduces their minimum or their current and maximum HP by 25% for like six yeah, seconds. Yeah, that's huge. Well, you, t I'm you take a tank from 4,000 to 3,000. Like, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be screwing around with that now because I die too freaking much, but eventually. It's great for dismounting creature or people too. Holy shit! Yeah, I I need to. If somebody happens to come across a really good realm breaker build, then send it to me, and I'll <laughs> work. I'll work on, or I'll buy the cheap stuff, and whenever I get books, I'll just use the books on. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Hear what? this guy saying, Corvus? He's talking to the guy who only used to use axes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well then help me out, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Don't just laugh about it, send me a freaking build. Well, in the middle of killing a whole bunch of faction people. Well then, well then what are you laughing about? That's the crap. Because <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> oh, dude, this there's like it's nine ironic. of It's ironic. It's ironic. But you should What's be my build. Yeah, if it's you ever ironic. wanna know. Yeah. Oh. Atlanta's more set. But you're not wrong. The Great Axe is the best build. Although I've seen a pretty good uh, Battle Axe build where people just run into mobs and stay up constantly healing yep. themselves. The, the the Battle Axe is by far the best PvE sustain build. Aside yeah. Aside from the one-handed dagger. But well, pe people like Aerie move moved to the Great Axe because they can... Um, after a while, you, if you get your spec up, you're just able to burn things down so fast. Yeah. My, oh, my, to DC, my battle axe is... Oh, you got the running! I mean, my battle axe is quite a ways yeah, up there. I was, 
But it I is was a actually, before I joined you guys, I was using it to potentially make a...